All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Enough with Shisha, and that's it. The God of Shisha today is going to say his words, and Shisha is the best. I mean, what do you want? How you can? There's no God better than Allah, the God of the Shisha, who will provide me all those versions sitting there, and I would do nothing there except having sex and smoking Shisha. The God of the Hashish. Now, the God of the Hashish today is going to share something important with us. Uh, by the way, for those who do not know, the word Hashish is coming from the Middle East, from Muslims specifically. And the word assassin used with the Hashish always. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Hassan al Hashash, who is uh, the founder of the, the first assassination organization in the world. What our topic today is about. Chapter 4 in the Quran, verse number 79. The God of the Hashish, he cannot stop providing us with his wisdom. Actually, the word there is perfectly fit, whiz and dumb. Whatever of good reach you is from Allah, but whatever of evil befails you is from yourself. All right, you know, I can accept this. Uh, if Islam is not based on certain things, I mean, you see, the, the Quran says that if this book is not from Allah, and until now we do not know who's Allah anyway, you will find a lot of contradictions. By the way, before we, uh, we started already, I wanted to ask this question is the timing is good you see I'm trying to do this timing which is late for me actually just because I want to uh, have uh, people from Indonesia India Philippine which mean uh, Asia so I'm, I'm delaying my program really just for those people uh, because I you know I spend a lot of time speaking to American and we have millions of videos I mean we have a lot but I'm trying my best to reach out for people in those countries and this is why I'm delaying my time all right so they can be there with me in the morning otherwise usually I do it between you know like 2 or 3 4 p.m. my time which at that time they will be sleeping good time all right how are you Claudia how's, how's Tokyo uh, Claudia, you need to take uh, you need to take the wisdom of Allah with you to talk you. So now listen, whatever of good reaches you is from Allah, but whatever is uh, uh, of evil be fail on you is from yourself. Hmm. You know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to read the Quran, trying to understand the one who wrote the Quran, what he was smoking exactly. You know, what he what he was smoking because. You know, this doesn't make, make sense. Not the sentence itself. Islam, because you see, you cannot just take a sentence and make a, a story about it. For me, I don't mind really to accept that somebody is saying to me, okay, well, the good is from God, the bad is from you. As an example, uh, you know, uh, you sell drugs. What what God have to do with this? Huh? That makes sense. It's not God who sells drugs, it's you. But this is if you are a Christian, but if you are a Muslim, you cannot do that. You cannot say that. If you are a Muslim, a Muslim believe that everything happened is already a decision made by Allah. Uh, if we go in the Quran, okay, the yellow pages of Muhammad. And we do a little search. I mean, there's uh, endless verses actually. We are is going to show us a big problems in this book. You see, Muslims, when they believe in destiny, destiny for them 
simply is a preset control everything in your life which means it's not like or, you know like we can say there is destiny like okay uh, it was my destiny to be born uh, why because my mother and my dad get married okay and then uh, they do what men and women they do and then they have a baby and that is supposed to me it was their fault not my fault but anyway uh, but this is not really a destiny. I mean, if the, if, the, if uh, this is if, if the if the man and the women they did not decide to go to bed together and get married, then nothing would happen. You know. But I can say like I have nothing to do with it. I mean, it's not nobody asked me uh, if you like to come to this earth or not, right? But if we go in the Quran, we will find tons of verses saying, as an example. Let us see which verse we start with first. All right. Chapter 33, verse number 38. There is no blame on the prophet in that which Allah has made legal for him. That has been Allah way with those who have passed away, which mean before him. And the command of Allah is a decree determined. Now the translation here is not really accurate because it says Qadaran Maqdura. Yes, it's a decree and determined, but it is a destiny. Which means even what Muhammad he does. You can't blame him for what he do. For Allah, he wrote for him to do that. Muhammad is controlled by a remote control. If you go to chapter uh, Abbasah, you remember this chapter when uh, um, a man he came a blind man he came to Muhammad and Muhammad he uh, gave him a bad face your destiny written when you are a seaman <clears throat> Let us see this one first. We can see 54, 49, which is uh, almost the same. But let us see this one. From Nutfa, male and female semen drop. By the way, this is between two brackets. It's not in the Quran. But anyway, but the Muslim trying to explain to you, supposedly. He created him. And then, uh, and, uh, and here you see the stupidity of the Quran. Because, yes, the Quran mentioned in the, uh, you know, in other chapter, that the man and the women, both of them, they have a sperm, and supposedly uh, it says, uh, from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So according to the cult of Muhammad, uh, women, they have a sperm, semen, and it's coming from the location of the necklace, and the man have a semen coming from the backbone, which is both of them false and wrong. But what you can say, he was taking hashish. However, our topic here is, and then he set in set him in due proportion. What does that mean exactly? You are in this stage. You are just a sperm, a semen. What the Quran is talking about? You know what? We don't want to make things up. Because the Muslim, they will say, it doesn't say that CP, it doesn't matter what I say. So uh, we, we have to go and see the interpretation. Shall we? Uh, give me a second, let us open the Islamic interpretation and see what this verse means. Chapter 80, verse number 19. And trust me, even after I read the interpretation, they will say, it doesn't say that CP. But I like it actually. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> All right, let's open Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Let us zoom out. The only thing I don't like about this page, it's hard to uh, make the text appear in a good way, you know. But anyway, from what from what thing did he create him? From Nutfa he created him, and then he set him in a preparation, meaning he decreed his life span, his sustenance, his deed. And whatever he would be miserable or happy. Okay, what is left? People, do you see the word that Allah he degree the deeds? Did it, does it say that or I'm making things? It doesn't say that. That's EB. It doesn't say that Allah he decreed your deeds and everything you do. Hmm? So if Allah is the one who decree my deeds, so what what is what is my what is de my deed then? This is the deed of Allah. <laughs> People, do you understand me? Deeds can be bad, can be good. So if you are a criminal, Allah He made you a criminal. You are a not for now. If you are a thief, Allah made you a thief. If you are a good person, Allah made you a good person. Oh boy. Muhammad Qadir saying that the Lord has made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of him. <laughs> My friend, we Christian, we are not stupid. God, he created even the devil. We know that. So, you know, but God did not create a devil in Christianity to be a devil. In Christianity, the devil was an angel. Here we go. We got you busted. But according to you, Muslims, your God, he made the devil, devil. He made the bad man, bad man. He made the good man, good man. And then he want to punish them for being as he wanted. Do you see it? Why Allah will punish you for your bad deeds if he is the one who decree your deeds before you are born? The bad and the good. Are you there, Mr. Qadir? You are now a sperm, a semen. You are not even a, 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 a person yet. And Allah, he decreed your deeds. So what is left for you? Islam is very stupid. And not only that. The story is not over yet. The disaster continue. As we said, too much hashish. If you go in the Quran, you will find in chapter 64, verse number 11, it says that not even any bad thing happened, be failed, but by the leave of Allah, decision of Allah. Do you read it, my friend? Okay. If somebody get killed, is that a bad thing or good thing? It's a bad thing. Who is the one who made decision? Allah. So how the bad things is from you in the other verse and the good things from Allah? <laughs> Do you see it? So Allah, he made for you a decree when you are a sperm, a semen, to commit a crime, to kill somebody. Now, and then he say, in uh, chapter Four, verse number 79 good things reach to you is from Allah bad things is from yourself but as you see human being according to Islam he have no control of himself he control nothing of himself 
because everything in Islam is a decree started when you are a seaman Uh, Muhammad Qadr, you see, just to show you when a Muslim he starts thinking what he do. Let me show you. This is a Muslim start thinking. He is he, he's getting hurt. So Christian do not believe God know you are going to do bad. See, you just you just answer yourself. Our God is a justice God. He will not judge you unless you do it first. Otherwise, if he just know you will do it, but you did not do it, then he is not being fair. We believe in a free will. And now I want to ask you the same question. Let us see how smart you are. If your God, he knew that you would do good, and he is the one who made you do that. So why he is going to punish you? Have you ever heard of a stupid God more than your God? So he made me commit sin and then he will punish me for the sin which he made me do. I mean, your God, he should have changed his name from Allah to Scooby Scooby Doo. Scooby Scooby Doo. Yes, I love you. I'm a Muslim, I'm thinking. The second a Muslim he starts thinking, eh, it is a hookah day. How this is can be from God? And not only that. You think we are done? No, my friend. If we go in the Hadith, you will see even the sin of Adam is from Allah. Like, what the heck? Yes, brother. According to your prophet, Moses and Adam, they have a debate. Uh, you know, at that time, they have a Skype. I mean, how Moses and Adam, they met. Look like your Muhammad. He think that Moses and Adam, they live in the same street, in the same building in uh, Hollywood. Moses and Adam, they are having a debate. How? I mean, do you think like Moses, he was uh, maybe two years uh, uh, younger than Adam? Eh, let it go, hashish, you know, too much hashish. So there was an argument between Adam and Moses. Moses said to Adam, Moses, Moses is talking now, Moshe, uh, the Jew, Khabibi, 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 you are our father. And you did us harm. And you caused us to get out of paradise. Adam, he said to this Moshe, Moshe, the Jew, you are Musa. Allah selected you for the great conversation and wrote the Torah for you. Despite your this, you bring me for an act which Allah has ordained for me for three years before he created me. Like, what the heck? What a horrible debate. This Moses have this Moshe have no skills of debate. Bring him here to teach him. So look what happened. Adam saying to Moses, Habibi Musa, Habibi Moshe. Habibi Moshe, stop going and smoking hashish, Habibi Moshe, but not Netanyahu. You cannot blame me for my sin, Habibi Moshe, because Allah decreed my sin 40 years before he created me. What is this? So Adam, he commits sin, which is not his sin. Do you see it? So how Allah, he says, the bad, the, the bad is from you and the good from Allah. When Adam, he disobeyed Allah, was that the bad from him or from Allah? Seriously, brother. I'm not going to bring Zach and Nike here because he will go to spit up everybody of us. And that's it. He will cover, he will cover us with the, with the, 
he will cover the the crime evidence. Ibn Adan Sitar, the other prince in the Christian prince, and he would make fun of the Quran. First of all, Christian prince is the big fat liar, and he doesn't say that, TB. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, Zach and Nike, uh, it doesn't say that, CP. Exactly, but it says there that Allah, he decided for Adam, he sinned 40 years before he, he created him. Exactly, 40 years, not 50 years. Okay, doesn't make as a different. 40 years before he was created, Allah decreed for him how much sin he will do. So, it's not the sin of Adam. Exactly. Because Allah, he decreed 40 years. Remember, it takes 40 years, not 40 years in one day. Because that will make a different. Zach and I, focus with me. I don't care, it's 40 days, 40 years, 400 years. The number is not important. The important is that Allah, he decree the sin of Adam before he did it. So, Adam had no choice. Exactly. But remember, it's 40 years. Okay, I, I, we, I, we got it, uh, Zakir. Zakir, is, is it hashish today? Listen, okay, it's 40 years. We got that. We got that. But Adam, he did not commit sin <clears throat> based on the story. It's Allah who decides for him to do the sin. Exactly. Okay, so we agree, right? That's uh, that uh, Adam is not, he did not commit sin. It's 40 years. Like, uh, Zakir Naik, for, forget about the 40 years, man. For the sake of Allah, like, can you forget about the 40 years? Exactly. Like, okay, listen. Adam here, he did not commit any sin. Allah, he forced him to commit sin. Do you agree? Exactly. Okay. So now, how Allah punish Adam for his sin? Exactly. Because Allah decided that 40 years before that. Okay. So why he decided to punish him for the sin which Allah, he decided? Exactly. Because this is 40 years. I told you, if it's 40 years and one day, Allah will not punish him. The end of the conversation with the Muslim, he was having some watermelon time. This is their logic. You speak about sky, they speak about zucchini. You know, I'm not having, trust me, I, I am sick of this cult. You see, many of you think I am I'm having fun. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm sick of it. I, I wish one day I will not even speak about this cult, but I know that people need to learn and, and know that my work is needed. Otherwise, I really, I wish just psh, go and forget about it. I mean, look, a human being is so slow to the point they cannot see it. It's so clear that this is stupid. So Allah, he kicked Adam from heaven for committing sin or because Allah, he made him commit sin. If Allah made him commit sin, so why Adam was kicked out from heaven? If you if you go in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad. Look how many verses, look. Chapter 2, verse number 36. That's an example. So when shaitan, look at the Quran. The Quran says, then the shaitan uh, made them slip from paradise. Look how shaitan is the one who made them slip if this is a destiny. Do you see the stupidity? Do you see, guys, do you understand the stupidity? I'm trying to show you how we connect the dots. One place Muhammad saying that Allah he decreed the sin of Adam 40 years before he created him and we cannot blame him for the sin he do and then he says to us that shaitan he made him sleep and he commits sin and then Allah he said to him get out of here get down get down do you see it get down all of you get down for what because he commits sin okay but you are the one who made him commit sin How this is can be from God? Exactly, shaitan destiny is made by Allah too. Everything, everything, my friend, uh, everything, everything happened is uh, from Allah. You see, just to show you, 
who is the one who sent shaitan even to prophets Allah he appoints shayateen shayateen mean many satan <clears throat> all those verses let us see all evil ones is appointed by Allah and specifically the shayateen so we have appointed for every prophet's enemies of shayateen the devils from among the mankind and the genie so and Adam according to Islam is a prophet so when shaitan he came to Adam and he made him commit sin shaitan was appointed by Allah Do you see it? I mean, this book is the most hilarious, stupid book ever. You flip the page, you'll find crazy stuff. That's it. I mean, it is, it is, it is really crazy. And you know, actually, the verse before it, it shows us that Muhammad is, is a scam. Look at this verse. And even if we had sent down into them the angels and the dead had spoken to them and we had gathered together all things before their eyes, they would not have believed unless Allah willed. <laughs> so what is the condition? <laughs> How we will believe Allah have to be willed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Mm. oh boy. For life to be test, there have to be a devil. Muhammad Qadr, are you are you an idiot? How that can be a test if you don't have a free will? You see, to be to be tested, you have to, to you have to be given a free will. Here we go, Adam, Allah, he decreed for him his sin 40 years before he created him. So this is not a test for Adam, this is a test for a stupid God. And here you see in the front of you, this is Quran, don't tell me this is a weak Quran. Even if we do this and this and this and this and this and this, they will not believe unless Allah will. Okay, so what is that? Who is going to make the decision of me to believe in Islam? Allah, it's not my decision. Stupidity. Stupidity. I hate stupidity. Stupidity is my number one enemy. Shouldn't you have first a free will so you can say it's a test? It's like saying to me, I'm going to make you have an exam, huh? And I am the one in control of you to give correct answer or not. What kind of an exam this exam is? How this is can be a test for Adam if the sin of Adam was a decree by Allah? Where is the test here? He wrote for him that he must commit 40 years before he created him. Now, do you blame me for that? You cannot blame me. You see, when the, when the Messiah spoke about going to heaven, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God, will go to the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Okay? So, in order to 
be qualified to be in the heaven of the Messiah, I have to do the will which is the teaching of the Father, the teaching of the Messiah, the teaching of the Bible. Hmm. But he gave me the will. So there is my will to do the will of God or to reject it. The will of God, be holy like your father. Don't kill, don't lie, don't cheat, don't, 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 don't. Okay, this is the will of, the, of God. Now, the, your will is a choice. You can do totally the opposite. In Islam, there is no such a thing. As you see, Adam, he did not have a choice to do or not to do. It's a sin he must commit. So how we can judge him for a sin he must commit? Do you blame me for an act which Allah had ordained for me 40 years before he created me? And I want to know what the story with this number 40. I just showed you many of them. Which one? There is only, there is endless number. But I just showed you that even you will not believe unless Allah will. Here we go. Allah saying, supposedly, chapter 6, verse 111. And even if, if we had sent down an angel, and we made the dead speak to them, and we had gathered all things before their eyes, which means whatever, miracle, whatever, they would not believe unless Allah will. And here, by the way, you notice, do notice, that there is no way the Quran is made by someone his name is Allah. Anyone notice why? If the one is talking is Allah, he should say, unless I will, I am. Not unless Allah. If you are Allah, how you say unless Allah will? You notice? The author of the Quran, the fabricator, he always forget to switch the one is talking, he cannot be Allah himself because he have to switch, he have to say I. You see, I'm the one is talking. The first one that decide Allah, said Allah decide even if we are happy or unhappy. With all the, you know, okay, you see, this is what destiny, destiny is not only happy, Destiny is everything. Your your lifespan, your your deeds, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Even there is no bad things happen to you except by the leave of Allah. All right. Uh, thank you, Karana. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, which we uh, uh, we uh, we have for other topics, and we are going to be live there every week, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So, if you like to join us in that channel, uh, the admin is posting for you the the link. Click there and subscribe, and be sure you will be notified. Remember, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be in that channel. So, uh, uh, during those three days, I will not do live uh, program in the Arabian Prophet. So, uh, you might be wondering why I'm not appearing. Simply, I am in the other account. So, please subscribe so you can join us. Quality of Life, M27. Now, Uh, as you see, you know, uh, Quran, Hadith, all the collection of Islamic text lead you for one direction, that this is a stupid book, this is a stupid cult, nothing makes sense in it. I mean, not only does God, you don't remember which one he created first, the sky, the stars, the earth first, the trees, the mountains, the sun. No, not only this. 
Not only he don't know where the sperm is coming from, he think women have a sperm coming from their breast, which means women they have a breast testicles, which is really beautiful. And he claiming that the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, which is very stupid. And he think that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven, and he break pieces from it, he throw it at us. And he think that only the lowest heaven have stars. And he think that Allah is saying that he made the stars as decoration <laughs> for our eyes. But this is stupid because what we see of stars is very little of what what is really real there, which means how this can be decoration. I mean, it's not enough, but it, and then it goes really wild and stupid. Claiming that everything you do is decided by Allah, so why he wanna punish me? If you remember, there's a hadith where Muhammad, he make, it a, he make a big poo poo there. Big, big poo poo. I mean, the smell is until now, even though he did it 1400 years ago, but still the smell is big and ugly. Look at this. This is Muhammad speaking, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. Open the windows, please. The poopoo -poo is so big, and the smell is a huge. Uh, yuck. And by Allah, when Muhammad he said by Allah, that means the poopoo -poo is big. It's horrible. Open your umbrella. And by Allah, a person among you may do deeds of people of the fire till there is only one a cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and fire. You are almost there in the door. Like the door will open for you. They will throw you there almost. But then, uh -huh. but then, brother, what written which Allah has ordered the angels to write? Proceed. Look what the heck! And he does the deeds of the people of paradise, and he entered. Look! Look at this crazy! So the guy he was going to go to hell because all his deed is bad. But then what Allah he wrote for him, decide that he will go to heaven. <laughs> So why you lie to us, you say, make donation, give Allah a good loan, because this is good deed, the one who could do, do good deed will go to heaven. As you see, there's no good deed and bad deed. And look, and here he switched the opposite, and then he says, and a man may do the deeds of the people of paradise. Huh? This guy is giving donation to me, my hijab. Then there is only one, only a cupid or two between him and paradise. Okay. And then, brother, that is written, proceed, and he does the deeds of people of hellfire, and he enters it. Like, what the heck? So what we will do now? How we can go to the heaven of Allah? You cannot, because it's a gambling. It's like going in a casino in Las Vegas. Allah, he wrote for you what number will win, what number will lose. If your number is five, you lost. You are in hell now. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? What, an eff what a waste of an effort to do kindness in this world. Yeah, Taliban, they are doing kindness. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. A lot of kindness. I mean, they are producing a lot of drugs. How this is can be from God? I mean, do people even have a brain? Don't you, don't you see? Are you blind? I'm not going to ask Zach and Naik about this because if I ask Zach and Naik, okay, Zach and Naik, what is your opinion? Christian Prince, I told you, he decided your destiny 40 years before he created him. Okay, forget for God's sake about the 40 years now how Allah decree is going to decide who is going to go to heaven, who is going to go to hell. 
You know, as you see, the guy is almost in heaven, in hell, and then Allah decrees change. You know, he he proceed. So, how we can survive the games of Allah? I told you, Kathman. First of all, it's forty years. It's not forty years in one day. Zakarnay, come on, forget about the forty years, man. Okay, you know what? It's thirty years. Okay, we change that. Kathman, I get you, but then you are corrupt in the hadith. The hadith does not say thirty years. It says forty years. We got it. We got it. <laughs> when you are following a silly prophet, you come with all silly answers. Who's next? Hmm? This is why I, you know I find when Muslim try to answer me. I, you know, I, I don't mean to insult anyone, but I wonder, like, I mean, what is the brain? What is the brain is located there? Hmm. Yeah, according to Islam, Allah, he made me say what I'm saying now. You believe it? Hmm. Yeah, this is the religion. Welcome to Islam. Hmm? Yeah, I think this uh, this is Jones. He he wanted to call me in the other day, and I told him to call me in Monday. Hold on, let me oh, let me open my Skype. He wanted to talk to me. Are you the same, Jones? <clears throat> no, he called me before and he left Islam. I think, but he is angry from me. Let me log in, hold on. We will take only call from Mr. Jones because we promised him. Let me call you. Answer, answer, Jones. <coughs> Are you there? Jones, I'm calling you. I'm not going I'm not going to call you again if you don't answer now. Like you called me a thousand times and I told you not now. Because I was in the other channel and now I'm calling you are not answering hello Yes, yes, my friend, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, you know me, uh, my name is uh, uh, Einstein. <laughs> no, sorry, the people call me Einstein of Islam, as you know. All right. So, uh, and why they call you that? Sorry. Uh, wait a minute, poor connection. Hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, uh, Non-Muslims uh, incorrectly believe that uh, Islam claims that the sun sets in a, a murky water. This is not true. So, if you see the translation in a Sahih International, it says, "If it is, if if it is, if it is a sit, sitting in a muddy spring." So, hmm. but does it say? Does it say what? as? Does it say as if it is, or it says? Doesn't say that in Arabic. The, the word wajada means uh, uh, appears, it appeared to Zulkarnayn. Wajada mean appear or mean found? No, 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 no. Wajada mean to no. appear. Okay, who is the one who told you this Arabic? You speak Arabic? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, can you show me in dictionary where it says that the word wajada mean appear? Uh, 
it appear to be uh, yeah, yeah 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 if you visit a uh, vacationary Vic Vacationary.com. Okay, hold on. I'm going. Here. I'm going to open. I'm going to open an Islamic dictionary. I will put it for you in the screen, and you tell me how this has happened. And by the okay. way, and by the way, we can search for the same word in the Quran, and we will see what the same word as a translated all over the Quran because the word agree uh, uh, appear in the Quran many places. So, what do you think about that? Good choice. Because if the word wajada yeah, yeah, yeah. mean appear. That's mean all the translation of the Quran is going to be appear. All right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, here we go. I'm going to put the dictionary for you, and this is your Islamic dictionary. This is the word wajada. The, okay. the first one. Okay. It says, detect, discover, find out, spot. Where is the word appear? And this is your Islamic dictionary, Al Ma'ani. I will pause the link. In, in the chat so people can see and you can open it yourself and you can type the word by yourself you can just copy it from the Quran as it is and you know uh, see the meaning so whoever said that to you is a liar no 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 Zakir Naik can't lie ah Zakir Naik cannot lie well here we go this dictionary and here we go you see it says wajada uh, athara ala came across, came upon, find, happen, hit upon, light upon, meet with, etc. So like there's more, you know, this is all is, uh, 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 he, you know, he found. So found, it can be uh, about an idea. It can be found about, it, it depends on what is the word after. So if I'm talking about an object, it's obviously I found an object. If I'm talking about love, I found love because this is something it can be found too. Uh, I found mercy. So the, the word after wajada will decide I am talking about what? About an object or about uh, something, uh, uh, maybe emotion, uh, mercy, the kindness. So the word wajada means I found. And the word after it is going to decide I found what? So he's talking about he found the sun and the sun is not emotional. Is not he's talking about the sunset and you know hold on do you think your prophet he knew what the Quran saying or your prophet is uh, ignorant yeah I definitely know you will say now uh, in Sunan Abu Daud mm -hmm. uh, you will quote a hadith uh, that the prophet uh, says that uh, sunsets in a muddy spring but if you see the, the chain of narration mm -hmm. uh, the person named Tariq, uh, something is that I just forget it, but uh, mm. all, uh, those hadiths uh, which are uh, narrated from him is weak. And uh, also okay, here we go. He it says, it says, Sahih in chain. Read it. So the narr narration is, is good and it is Sahih. So the one who told you it's weak, he's a fraud. This is your Islamic website. It says Sahih in chain. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Do you see it in the screen? I'm showing you in the screen. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So why they say it's a it is a it is a lie when it is sahih in chain? Because they are liars trying to cover up for their prophet for what he said. So I was sitting behind the messenger but, uh, of Allah. But, okay, hold but, on, hold on. You see, do you know a guy? His name is Fifi. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on. There's a guy. There's a guy. His name is Fifi, and he, he made a video to, to to get a uh, to get an apostate prophet busted. And he said that he don't agree with this hadith, but he agree about other hadith. And I will show it to you. But look how how I will show you how stupid this guy is. How he got your prophet busted? He said that he agree with this hadith. Which hadith? This one. You can go and watch his video and die laughing. All right. He said, this is the hadith he agreed with. Okay, what the hadith is saying? Once I was with the Prophet, and this is Sahir Bukhari. You can't say it's weak. And he agreed with it already in the video. I was with the Prophet in the mosque. In the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best because Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of Allah with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. He said, 
it goes and prostrate underneath Allah throne now is that scientifically true or scientifically stupid yeah this is so embarrassing but it doesn't it doesn't just uh, i think he just says it for something yeah but uh, what he said another he, misconception you know, that no, no hold no, on no, no, no. See, what what, what you, you have a lot of misconception you have a lots of misconceptions about Islam. Okay, give uh, give me the answer you about this now. Don't don't change the topic. You, you, does, yeah, yeah. does the sun no, does, the, that, does uh, the sun goes anywhere? Uh, he have a question from you that uh, 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 you Christians uh, incorrectly believe that uh, you will go to uh, hell according to Islam, but no, Christians and Jews will go to uh, heaven, as you know. <laughs> My friend, why, why you are changing topic? Uh, forget about hell and heaven now. What kind of a prophet and what kind of God? And this is Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. He said, and the sun run into a fixed course. And Muhammad explaining what Allah mean, that the sun every day go and sleep under the throne of Allah. How this is going to be God is talking. And the guy whose name is Fifi, he agree with this hadith. He said, this is the correct hadith. I agree with that. But he just got Muhammad busted because the sun doesn't go anywhere in the sunset. The sun is there. Yeah, be, yeah you, you have to watch Zakir Naik. He is the best debater. Mm. We believe in him. Mm. And what Zakir Naik is saying? <laughs> about this? Yeah, he says, mm. you look, all the translations and all, uh, all uh, the meaning of uh, these uh, verses are, you quoted from uh, 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 websites. And you know, uh, websites uh, most of the people uh, used to uh, uh, criticize islam or uh, hey, hey, listen, listen. simple word Do, don't don't make me hang so up they, don't, don't make me hang up on you they, you are they, talking they, about they, things i have no idea what this topic you are talking about what website i do not need website i am the website i am the one who is teaching you and you are telling me quoting from website people website they learn from me i am asking you how Zakir Naik explain to you how the sun set? Go and give me the answer. Don't tell me you are quoting from webs what website? Me, I need website. I use website because I'm in the internet to show you so you can read it. What website? This is your Islamic website. I'm not quoting from anyone. Do you see me opening a channel talking about Muhammad? Here we go. Everything you say, I just get you the quotation immediately. So now, what kind of a prophet he says such a stupid thing? You, you you are correct i i appreciate your work but uh, if you watch a uh, merciful servant video he says that uh, quran status that uh, uh, sun has uh, a fixed orbit <laughs> here we go this is the first chapter 36 verse number 38 <laughs> your prophet explained the verse this guy is an idiot your prophet get him they are kids those are kids don't watch their videos those are a bunch of kids this is why they don't dare to call me what merciless servant and beside yourself well, here we go i'm here why they don't care and show me what you're talking about i mean what they will lose they will lose their virginity but they are scared terrified so this is your prophet who is who is the one we should listen to a guy he came himself mimi or your prophet For sure, Mimi. I think Muhammad Hijab. Mimi. Muhammad Hijab is the answer. No, sure, yeah, absolutely. Muhammad Hijab, he knew more than the Prophet because he is selling drugs uh, and he's <laughs> selling things in his car. By oh, this. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> well, we show them what Muhammad said. They say, say to me, the guy in his video, he said. <laughs> so, all this school, you know, you are calling me for this. I mean, uh, I mean, isn't it obvious for you? This is stupid. Come on, man. Yeah, he accepted it that, uh, yes, Islam says the sun sets in a murky water. Okay, so now what we will, what, what we will do, it's just stupid, and it's true. This is what Muhammad he believed, this is what Islam teach, and all, all evidence but, lead to one direction, that Muhammad is a fraud and Allah does not exist. No, 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 astaghfirullah. No, hmm. no, we can't blame our prophet for anything. I think uh, this is the statement of the past times, I think the sun really sets in a murky water. Okay. At that time, uh, Muhammad now. Ah, 
at that time the sun <laughs> set in murky water at, at that time <laughs> and then the, the, then the sun bought a house in a different place and moved out okay <laughs> that's a good one all right anything else my friend <laughs> I'm not going to leave Islam. I'm not going to leave Islam. Islam is my You are out of Islam. Religion. You are out you are out of Islam already. You are making look you are laughing at your prophet and you are telling me I'm not leaving Islam. You just say this is not true. You just say this is wrong. You just, just this is embarrassing and now you are saying to me I'm not leaving. You left Islam. Aren't you the one who just said two no. minutes ago this is embarrassing? Look, I said to you that uh, at that time at the the sun will set in the murky water. Ah, at that time, yeah. That what, and what do you think? What happened? The sun, like somebody, she did not pay the rent, so they kick her out of the uh, of the water, and now she is not sitting in the so water no was, more. That hmm? was Zulkarn Zul times. It was not. Uh, hmm. And where is <laughs> where, times. where was that is water? You know, okay, where was that water where the sun set at that time? ACP look uh, our prophet don't tell me his AP look I'm asking Dajari. you a question my friend. where 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 the sun the fitness, bro. no 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 where is the sun set at that time which where is the water located do you have an idea uh, <laughs> Allah knows better where the sun was setting in it says which ocean what ocean it says a spring do you know how to read it says a spring of a muddy hot water okay it's a, so it's a tiny little yeah, tiny yeah. spring when you say spring it's mean it's something tiny it cannot be even a river this is what spring mean so it's not an ocean they lie to us they say he so it's an ocean uh, even in the Quran it says it says a spring of water how that can be an ocean since when the ocean is a spring of water ah uh, let me tell you I will help you you will tell me now at that time the ocean was so small he was a spring of water and by time get bigger I'm helping you now and if we call yeah, Zach and you, Nick, right. if we call Zach and Nick, he will say brother Peter, first of all it was 40 years and this is the reason we have to agree with it. Zach and Mike, we are not talking about Moses and Adam now. Just let me, please. Okay. We are talking about the spring of water. Yeah. What, 40 years? I don't agree with him. It's not for, it's 40 years and not even 40 years with one day. Zach and Mike, how the Quran says that the sun sit in a spring of water? This is the question. Prince, you are deaf and you are deaf. I told you, no, it's 40 years and this is the proof. No. And I get you button. No, no, no. Hmm. <laughs> Please don't play like Zach and I. It's make me laugh. Hmm. Are you laughing at Zach and I or uh, laughing at your prophet? No, but uh, hmm. uh, I will uh, contact about this uh, with merciful servant. Hmm. He will give you answer, inshallah. My friend. At this point. Okay. Don't don't tell me those names. Those yeah. names are kids. They don't count for me. Bring me your bring me bring me a scholar. Where is the wood? Where is your shakes? Where is the potatoes? The big potatoes. What are you giving give me getting me kids? Uh, All right. Come on. All right. Take care. Well, I don't know this guy. He was trying to call me like crazy. Like I I I go on Skype. I have like a thousand missed call from him. And I thought he is going to tell me something important. And look what uh, the sun uh, the sun was sitting in the water at that time. Uh, at that time. Uh, okay, this is the conclusion now. I will call me again and he will say, I told you, it was 40 years. And you're not living. It was 40 years, and Allah he mentioned in the hadith 40 years before he created me. Hmm. Crazy religion. We say a male, they say milk it. It's a male goat, milk it. It's a male, they milk it. <laughs> Islam. <sighs> Guys, if you see my Skype, how I'm going to answer all those people. When I open my Skype, I find like a million people texting me and they think I think I think they think I'm going to read their text it's impossible please guys don't do that to me 
when you have something to say say it to him in the chat i can read it in skype i cannot and especially how skype is made like blah, 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 blah. they appear suddenly in the screen and it take forever i mean unbelievable don't do that let me log off of skype i mean this Skype became like scary for me you open it you find like a as of a gun machine open in your face all the messages appear suddenly and people keep calling me i am online i am offline it doesn't matter i receive calls 24 hours seven days a week let us log off that's it if you have something important to say to me you can email me in patreon but don't email me there just to say how are you and i told you it's for the youth okay uh, hmm. <clears throat> Anyone? Anyone? Any Muslim have anything to say? You can say it in the chat, you know, I'm not going to open Skype anymore. I mean for today. We want Zach and Nayak to call us. That would be a good call. We will spend the first two hours, he repeating it is 40 years. But you know the most the most amazing answers of Muslims you, you want to see how does Islam make you smart when when an Indian woman she asked Zakir Naik why in Islam there is no woman she is a prophet Zakir Naik now he is using all his capability of intelligence and he said to her uh, this is the day ask a question and actually your question is very valid she said why in Islam there is no women to the Prophet? And I have to agree with her. In Islam there is no women to the Prophet. And the reason for that, if a woman to become a Prophet, she have to do to do a mudu, and she have to bend over. And if they bend over, that will disturb the congregation. Disturb what? The congregation. Translation. He agreed with the women that in Islam there is no woman, she is a prophet. Why? Because if she became a prophet, she have to bow down. And if she bow down, the Muslim will look at her ass. This is in the front of tens of thousands. And this is a smart answer of a smart donkey. And the Muslim, like their mouth is open, like, wow, brother. Like, wow, me. The reason, hey, women. The reason you are not qualified to be a prophet is your ass. If you send your resume to Allah, asking him to make you a prophet, he will look at your ass. He says you are over qualified. <laughs> Excuse me. Unbelievable how stupid this cult is. Please, please, when you send your resume to Allah, if you are a female, send an image or photocopy of your ass. Because Allah will look at your ass, and because of your ass, He will say you are the qualified. Hmm. Uh, Abdul Jannah saying, The truthful people will never hide their face behind a computer or laptop to speak something. Even in UN, we are debate face to face. My friend, uh, uh, you just said something very important. Truthful people don't hide their faces. So why Allah in the Quran, he says that Allah, he never speak unless he is from behind the curtain. You just admitted that your God, Allah, is not truthful. And this is why I say they have a low IQ when they try to answer me. So he could not debate me. He could not answer the disaster I am saying. But he uh, come to a conclusion, if you are truthful, you, you show your face. <laughs> well, I will use your logic. If Allah is a truthful, then he will not wear a veil as the Quran says. Are you there? 
Allah is sitting now behind the computer hiding his face do you see it okay I'm going to use your logic Jibreel if you are a truthful show me your face Jibreel is behind the computer stupidity they cannot answer me they cannot debate me eh. this is the only thing we can say show us your face why you don't debate Sheikh who is equally okay hold on I mean Muslims how how look hold on I, I have to make a study about how long let me take a selfie how long it take a Muslim to make a question all right smile uh, Jundallah Junaid smile I just took a selfie for you brother I told you it's for the youth Junaid was thinking about this question for 40 years I guess look what Junaid he said <clears throat> Or Jund. Remember of it. Why don't you debate a sheikh who is equal as a prepared instead of debating Jahil? Jahil ignorant. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> is that you, the Jahil? Secondly, where is your sheikh? Let them call me. There is a sheikh. You remember the guy he used to call and he, then he asked his sheikh to go, call and debate me? You have the debate. Go watch it and die laughing. He's a sheikh. The sheikh was shaking. So you are saying to me, all of you are Muslims, are a bunch of kids, and you are asking me to debate the sheikh. I'm waiting. Have you ever heard of me saying no to anyone? Here we go. I take even calls from everybody. Like this guy, uh, uh, Jones, whatever his name. Do I know him? No. Eh, you want to call me? Okay. He could be a sheikh. But all of you are the same. You think the sheikh he can make it? Actually, debating someone who have knowledge in Islam is way easier from debating a donkey. Because debating a donkey, he speak about the east, he speak about the west. Anyway. I think we cover a good part of the topic for today and uh, my videos are made for you guys you can use them in your, the way you like to to uh, to show people reference and proofs uh, Islam is very stupid you know for me I don't even need to think about a topic or like if somebody said now we want to debate me okay here we go hold on who is a Muslim Sheikh is now listening to us he is willing to call me I will open my Skype who is a Muslim sheikh? Long beard. Is willing to call me right now and I will open my scarf for you. Anyone? Anyone? Maybe it's going to happen. Anyone? Okay, we'll extend the timing. 
maybe uh, one of them he will get the courage from Allah Tum 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 ta ta tum ta ta tum ta ta tum ta tum What? Hold on, hold on. I just received Quran. Jabril, he just sent me something. I think he wanna debate me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jabril, he just told me about that. He wanna debate me face to face. And he is saying, I told you, it's 40 years. <laughs> face to face. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what a stupid oh boy. Time is up. I mean that's it. You have a few sec one second left. That's it. So what we will do now? And you are asking me to debate Muslim. Where are the Muslims? Oh man. <sighs> what we can do, what we can do. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. I am the nightmare of Allah. But by the way, all the Muslims, they beat me and they expose me in their private videos. I mean, Christian Prince, lie number one, lie number two, lie number four. Why you don't call me, call him and show him the lies? No, I will, I will show him the lies here. <laughs> oh boy. And this is why a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam. I am very grateful for my lord for providing me with all of you for providing us with the internet so we can meet and we can talk we can share to meet people all the way at the end of this earth amazing i'm really grateful i'm grateful that muslims are calling and leaving islam i'm grateful that Many, many, many Muslims live in Islam every day because of my videos. I'm grateful that I have support of many people who loves me, even though there's a lot of people who hate me. But the Lord, he says, because of me, they will discriminate you. They will persecute you. They will kill you. Time will come and they will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. I'm very grateful for the Lord for he provide us with everything we need to demolish cults expose them and share the truth and the truth will set you free and he said I am the truth I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the beginning I am the end I am the resurrection I am the door. I am the truth. I pray that the truth will set all of us free. And the truth is one of his names. For he is the truth. Everything about him is the truth. His wisdom is the truth. His salvation his resurrection, his creation. The Bible says that everything was created by him and for him. We are created for him, but to love us. Not because he needed slaves like Islam. 
Jesus, he came to free you from slavery. This is why when the Jews, they said to him, this woman, when she go to heaven, who is going to have her? He said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Which means Jesus, the Messiah, will free you from your needs. While Allah, he is trying to make you addicted to sex and food and gold and silver in his heaven, the Messiah free you from every need to live a glory life with the Lord. You will be the same as angels. You will not need to sleep. You will not need to eat. You will not get sick. You will not need women. Women do not need men. You do not need anything, but you are happy. For the only one who can make you happy, in a way nobody can. No food can make you happy. This is temporarily. No sex can make you happy. This is temporarily. If God, he gave us the joy to enjoy food for a few moments of tasting them, can God make us a bigger joy? Have nothing to do with sex and food? Yes, he can. For he is the almighty Lord. For he is holy. The purpose of sex between man and women is, is to reproduce. So what the point of the sex in heaven in Islam if there is no reproduction? Simply because this is the heaven of the devil. Wine, river of wine, women with no panties. And then he start exaggerating with his lies. 70 years orgasm. You go to, Z to visit Zachar Naik, first year Zachar Naik is having orgasm. You come a year after, he's having orgasm. 10 years after, he's having orgasm. 20 years after, he's having orgasm. You knock at the door after 40 years. Zachar Naik, it's 40 years. I told you. I told you 40 years, but I didn't hear you. 40 years about Muthad. But when it comes to orgasm, it's going to be 70 years. 70 years orgasm, you idiot. You have to be an officially crazy person to believe in such a garbage. 70 years orgasm. I mean, make it 69. Like, come on, breathe. 70 years just for the orgasm. So the sex was how long? If the orgasm was 70 years. Hmm. True religion must be true. All right. We are blessed. No, the website use fake Quran. Fake Quran? The Quran I'm showing you on the screen is fake Quran. <laughs> All right, take care. Let your daddy speak to me. We have no time for kids. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you again for all of you. The Lord, the Messiah, He's our Savior. And uh, remember, here we use certain language because we are speaking about filthy, dirty cult. It's called Islam. Otherwise, if we are Christians speaking only about what is right, we will not use this language. But as you see, this is the words of Muhammad. Endless penis, 70 years orgasm, crazy stuff. And my duty is to show you things as it is. I don't sugarcoat, I just coat. As it is. People who like it, like it. Who don't like it, I don't care. Because the purpose of education is to educate, not to be politically correct. Say it as it is, so people they can see and hear the truth. Never say things which is not written there. Say it as it is. So people they can see, people can learn, people can get the idea and re you know, learn the truth. If everybody sugarcoat what is written there, Okay, are we learning about the sugar coating or are we learning about what is written there? 
So I say it as it is. And there's many people don't like it because I am very straightforward. And maybe they uh, say he's tough, he's harsh. I am harsh. I am tough. I'm fighting the devil, my friend. I'm fighting the devil. Every second, because of the devil of Muhammad, there's thousands of people being slaughtered in Africa, in Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, you name it. Syria, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, everywhere. In the name of this devil, blood is being shed every second. And you are talking about harsh and whatever propaganda you have. The truth have to be said, and here we deliver it. Thank you again for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. Remember, I will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in a quality of life M27, so we can speak about different topics. We as a Christians, Muslims are welcome to everybody is welcome, but it's not going to be about Islam. That channel have nothing to do with the cult of Islam. So there we will be clean. It's like a place where we take a shower and we don't mention anything about this cult. So if you like to join us, feel free to join the, uh, the, 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 the account quality of life m27 the admin posted the link already for you many times and uh, we'll be happy to have you there too thank you for being here and i want to say thank you again for those who support us in every mean in every way i really appreciate you uh, i pray that the lord uh, he always provide us with uh, mental health because this is very important more important actually from health because imagine if your body is fine but your brain is sick I mean that's disaster so mental health is very important and the Lord wisdom is the best guidance for mental health he is the supplier of mental health he guide you he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names you can call yourself Christian Prince you can call yourself a Christian you can call yourself Muhammad you can call yourself even the Messiah if you want but we will know you from your fruits and the fruits the good fruits coming from someone his brain is not infected is not corrupted is not defeated by satan their fruit my friend the fruit one sentence of the messiah is enough to silence all the books from their fruits you shall know them and this is can be a golden i mean priceless guideline for you even if about you going to get married how you know if this person is man or this woman is good for you look at their fruits you want to do business with somebody how you want to know if they are good for you look at their fruits how you want to know if this person is a good person? Look what he do with his mother, his family, his sister. If he is good to them, that is a good fruit. If he cannot be good to his mother and his, mo his, his father, how he can be good to you? From their fruits, my friend. This is how we know the tree. A tree who do not give good fruits will be cut off and thrown into the hellfire. That is the words of my Lord. And with his wisdom, we finish for today. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.